Welcome to the JJ Guardian channel. Uh, we're talking about uh, From Other Sons, but we're in my desktop because we're talking about game hacks. How to get the game doing things the way we need them done so that we can explore other aspects of the game and simplify things a bit. So that's what we're talking about here. Before we get too far into it, I do want to show you a couple of the, or one of the tools that we're going to be working with. Initially for game saves, uh, we won't need this tool, but later on for modifying the files, it will be essential. So uh, I've mentioned before I'm a programmer of some 35 years, and one of the tools I use a lot for just looking at files, manipulating files of, of pretty much any kind is this program called Notepad++. Um, it's completely free. Uh, I'm not affiliated with it. It's, it, it's, I, don't th I don't even think it's made in my country. I'm not sure. But it's a tool that allows me to uh, look at code and color the text, format it, arrange it the way I want, compare files, and do things like that. So it, it can be very useful from a programming perspective. <clears throat> but it also allows me to edit and work with files in different ways. I can work with those files as normal plain text or in the as you'll see later on if I have to work with those files on a very digital level where I'm manipulating the values of the content of the file as data files I can do that too. Uh, you can't normally do that with with a normal notepad program. So this is uh, going to uh, the, I have a copy of the program running here and you can see the icon and you're going to see other things with the same icon as we're as we're uh, looking at the files don't let that throw you off that's just I've associated them with my notepad plus plus program so we'll see more about that let's talk about save game let's talk about these files <clears throat> so on most machines you're going to want to focus on your C drive and basically you're looking for your user folder now, some people will have moved that to their D drive. Doesn't really matter. Just you're looking for your user folder. And your username will be in there. In my case, it's JJ Guardian. Underneath that, you're going to have your app data folder. And this is one of the folders that are used by programs to store data um, that uh, they need to operate. Pop that open. You're going to find another folder called local. And in there, we're going to see FOS. And as you can imagine, that stands for From Other Sons. Inside the From Other Sons folder, you're going to find a saved folder. Now, this is a little bit modified, but basically what you're going to find when you open this up is config, crashes, logs, and save games. Now, I've created a folder called Original to kind of give you an idea of what you're going to see when you go into this folder structure, when you go into your save games. So original is how your save games would probably look, something similar to this. So in your save games, you'll have your profile.sav. This is a file you probably don't want to mess with. Okay, I have not, I have experimented with it a little bit and all it's, all it's done is crash the game or hang it. So you really don't want to mess with that too much. Then we have save zero and save one. <clears throat> now save zero is the saved game I have for the very first slot in uh, my game, my list of games. Save one is my second slot and save two would be my third slot. There are, out, there are a number out of sync that way because in computer terms, we start counting from zero. Whereas when you're looking at the number of slots, you're going to say slot one, two, three. So this is the first slot. That's the second slot. And I don't have a save for my third slot. So what I do when I want to save my game, so I'm flying along through space and I've just completed a mission and I want to save it before my next jump. <clears throat> what I will do is copy it and paste it. That's it. 
Now I do it using the Control C, Control V method. So I'll do Control C and Control V. You see that? And I'll just keep doing that. So as I'm flying through space, doing my thing, every periodically I'll jump in, select the file, and do a Control C, Control V. Boom! I've saved my game. Yay! Now, when I die in the game, the game makes uh, uh, goes through a lot of effort to make sure it does this. Oops! My game is now lost. Now I have no save underscore one dot sav. It's gone. I have no save game. So what I need to do, I'll take my newest save game, which is number three. I'll copy it so I don't lose my number three. And then I'll edit the name here to be save underscore one dot SAV. I'm back in business. I've just restored my game from the third point that I saved it. Okay. Now I can continue to copy and paste. Where did I put my paste? There it is. I'm not used to using it that way. Right? Just continue to do it and then, oops, maybe here. CV. Right? And then, oops, I just died. So when I go in this folder, my save underscore one is gone. Because I'm working from, we're assuming I'm working from the first slot, the, sorry, the second slot, second save slot, not the first one. Okay, and I'm going to copy this one, and I'm going to rename the copy. And I've just restored my game from the fifth save. The same thing would go for the first slot. Control CV. Well, I'll save it again somewhere along the line. Oops, you know what? I just died. Boom, I'm dead. All right, so Control C, Control V that guy so I don't lose my save. And boom, I'm restored. So you see how that works. Okay, so this is what my save game folder looks like. You can see I've used it some. <clears throat> so now let's talk about more interesting hacks. And for this, we're going to be using our Notepad++ that you downloaded. If you downloaded Notepad++, that's great. When you launch it, it looks like this. It has tabs for each of the files you're working with has a plugins thing. You go there and you go to plugin manager. These are all the plugins you can download. They're in alphabetical order and you can select any one of these plugins like here's an F sharp interactive programming plugin. You can select any one of these program these plugins to to work with. Uh, here's a JSON viewer, you know, it, <clears throat> Some of them may, may be wonderful, some of them maybe not, you know, you can experiment with them, whatever. Uh, I've not seen a plugin that costs me anything. They're usually all free. What we're not seeing in this list is ones I've already downloaded. And one of them I've downloaded is a hex view, viewer, or hex, hex editor. So it would appear in here, yep, GH, we can see there is no hex. That's going to be critical for the next step. So you want to download the hex viewer or hex editor. And you can see I've got it right here. Because what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, your save game. And it looks like this. Now if I was to edit this as is right now using the text editing capabilities of this program and then save it, the file would be damaged. You cannot do that. You want to switch it over to a hex file. So the hex file is going to give us a standard uh, format and standard structure throughout. These are hexadecimal values. 
And these are the ASCII, or the character representations, of all of these values. So there's 16 values here. There's 16 characters here. So a dot would be a character that it can't really display. So like we see here, uh, 0, 0. Well, 0, 0 is a dot, because you can't display 0, 0. OK? So we're going to scroll on down. And we want ship inventory, not ship systems. But we're going to keep on scrolling down until we get to ship inventory. Hey, here we go, ship inventory. Directly after ship inventory, you're going to look for these FF structures. FF, FF. Actually, this isn't a good file. Let me work with another one. Let's see. I know that's not going to be a good one. Let's try this one. Ship inventory, come on down. Much better. OK. So we're looking for these structures. FFFF, FFFF, four Fs, and then offset four Fs. And F, uh, F, 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 and then F, 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 it wraps around again. And then again, F, 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 and then F, 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 F with a little offset. Okay? Those structures uh, are marker, uh, well, I consider them marker points anyway, for where the actual values of your storage, your fuel, and your missiles are. If you find the beginning of this structure, go back one column and up one. This is the beginning of your storage value. And it's two bytes. So this one and this one. So if I was to take this and go FFFF, that equals 65,535. That means in game, I would now have 65,535. Um, salvage. Now I come look for the next uh, collection of F's. See, and it's not this one because it says this has an FD. It's this one. F, 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 and then F. So again, at the beginning of these F's, go back one and up. And all I have to do here is that. And I've got 65,535 um, fuel. Now I go find the next F uh, configuration, and we have one right here. And it looks like I had no missiles. So I go back one and up. FF, FF. In hexadecimal, that means 65,535. So now what I will have is 65,535 uh, salvage, 65,535 uh, fuel, and 65,535 missiles. So I can go ahead and save that. Now I'm not going to save this one because, um, yeah, what the heck, go ahead and save it. Um, so now, don't miss with this thing if you're not comfortable with this process, and at the very least, make copies of your files so that if you mess it up, you just replace it and you should be fine. Um, but if you are comfortable with it and you can find the hex editor plugin or you, perhaps you have your own hex editor plugin, this is a way to give yourself a big mass of resources to explore other aspects of the game with. So let's launch the game and see what that looks like in game. Okay, so we've launched the game again. And uh, some points to know here. So the first thing is that even with the game launched at this in this stage where we are now, the entry screen, you can still edit the file and everything will be fine. In fact, even to this point here, you're still fine to edit the file. If, however, you have the file in edit mode past this point, you could run into problems. So make sure if you're going to edit the file, you back out to at least this point, if not all the way back to the beginning. And then once you've edited the file, saved it and closed your editor, 
and then you can go back in and load that file. So we're going to load up now. And we see the three slots that represent save zero, save one, and save two. Now, save zero is one of my early uh, uh, trips to Earth where I wasn't using any hacks. Uh, and you can see I'm, I'm actually at Earth. Uh, save one is one of the ones I have hacked so that I can continue to explore uh, achievements and other things that you can collect so I can report them to you. Um, what we can see here is, what you will notice when you're, when you're doing these kinds of hacks is, let's say, for example, I took um, save zero that has 324 resources and I were to hack it. When I went back in, it would still say 324 resources, even though in-game the displays would report 65,535. So don't let what you see here fool you. Okay, so I'm going to go into okay there. And as you can see, we have 65,000 of everything. So I hope that helps you. That should help you not only save your games as you're making your trip to Earth, uh, especially if you have never made it before, but it should also help you to uh, explore other aspects of the game that were far more difficult to explore with such limited resources. So please don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and we'll see you in the galaxy.